just I just hope the days go the day goes by very 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 slowly. I want to I want to profit every single second of it. Now you think of uh, what you're gonna have to do, so it uh, keeps your mind busy. It's difficult to uh, sleep properly, but uh, it's a special day. You can do without uh, the extra hours of sleep. I will catch up tonight. Over 50,000 people have come to watch. It's the largest airplane in the world. And it's going to stay the largest for a couple of years, I guess. This is what it's all about. Whether you're an aviation or an engineering enthusiast or, or not, this is still a very significant day. Today is really the day for the H-80 and all of us who have worked on it. So uh, we're all having our fingers crossed to be sure everything goes well. But afterwards, uh, I think there's going to be uh, quite a few fiestas tonight. Huh? The flight will last about four hours. And as the pilots make their way to the plane, all around the airport preparations are being made. In a building 500 meters away, Dozens of engineers are gathered in the control room, where they'll be able to analyze live data sent from the aircraft. A light jet will act as a chase plane, able to watch the A380 from the air and report on any problems. Hundreds of journalists are waiting to relay the story to the world. The crew must wear full safety equipment for the first flights life jackets, parachutes and helmets. And they're strapped in tight. Then the engines are started and the aircraft pushed back. side of the runway, Christian Polite, whose team have fitted the tailplane, is just one of the thousands who have worked so hard to get to this point. In the last seconds before takeoff, I mean, I, I don't think that I will think anything about it. Just cross the fingers and get it off the ground, yeah? At exactly 10.18, the A380 is lined up on the runway, and final preparations are made. 10, 29 and 32 seconds, the throttles are opened. Excellent demonstration altogether. And it was really like a diamond in the sky, stable and moving away. Really nice, really nice. 170 knots, looking good. Perfectly balanced. 
The next four hours will be spent gently probing the aircraft's abilities. Fifteen minutes in, it's time to retract the landing gear. Well then, gentlemen, milestone number one, the landing gear. OK, go for it. Three, two, one, mark. So the doors are opening, everything's OK, body gear is going up, wing gear is going up, body doors still open, mark, the doors are closing, the gear's up. The flight is a remarkable demonstration of modern aviation technology. She flies beautifully, just like the simulator. After years of effort, and at no small risk to the company, the men and women of Airbus and their hundreds of partners and suppliers can at last say that they have built and flown the largest airliner the world has ever seen.